So, how's the vegetable soup, little kitty? Kitty doesn't know. It's kind of bland. Bland? But I used spices from around the world. Maybe you've lost your sense of taste. Really? What now? Good question. Let me answer it with a tasteless mystery. What if you lose your sense of taste? Zoom in! Imagine biting into your favorite dish only to be met with nothing. No sweet, no sour, no salty or savory. Just bland nothingness. This is what it feels like for someone with agusia. The complete loss of taste. But before we explore why this happens, let's take a quick look at how taste actually works. It all starts with taste buds. Tiny structures located on your tongue and other areas of your mouth. Each taste bud contains receptor cells that detect one of five basic flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter and umami. When food hits your tongue, these receptors pick up on the chemical compounds in the food and turn them into signals. These signals travel along nerves to the brain, which interprets them so that you can actually taste what you're eating. But taste doesn't work alone. It's tightly connected with other senses like smell, texture, and even temperature, creating a complete sensory experience that makes eating enjoyable. If you'd like to dive deep into this, check out our video, How Do We Detect Taste? Now, when any part of this taste system is disrupted, it can mess up the whole eating experience. This disruption sometimes leads to a juicier, a total loss of taste. More commonly, people experience a partial loss of taste, hypojuicia, or a distorted sense of taste, disjuicia. But through a juicia is rare, and when it does happen, it can have various causes. For example, Infections like COVID-19, the flu, or sinusitis can interfere with taste by affecting your nasal passages or causing inflammation in your mouth. Medications are another common cause. Drugs like antibiotics, antihistamines, and chemotherapy treatments can sometimes interfere with how the brain processes taste signals. Other causes include underlying conditions like diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and stroke, which can damage the nerves involved in taste. Even lifestyle choices like smoking can dull the person's taste buds, sometimes leading to partial or complete loss of taste over time. Remember, my friends, Losing the ability to taste has more than just culinary consequences. Besides, taking away the joy of eating, it can lead to issues like malnutrition or weight loss, as people may eat less or fail to notice spoiled foods. And if food plays an important role in someone's cultural or social life, it can also affect mental health leading to anxiety or depression. So, what can we do about this tasteless dilemma? Well, fortunately, agusia is often temporary. Still for treatment, identifying and addressing the underlying cause is vital. If an infection is the reason, recovering from it usually restores taste. For medications, switching prescriptions might help. For smokers, quitting can often help regain their sense of taste within days. Sometimes, 
agencia is linked to nutritional deficiencies like no zinc or vitamin B12, which can be managed with supplements. Good oral hygiene and staying hydrated also play a role as saliva helps dissolve food particles, making it easier for taste buds to pick them up. So, while agencia is rarely permanent, taking care of your overall health, whether it's managing infections, eating a balanced diet or quitting smoking, can help preserve this essential sense. Trivia time! Did you know the word umami comes from Japanese and literally means delicious savory taste? It was discovered in 1909 by Japanese scientist Dr. Kikune Ikeda while he was enjoying a bowl of kelp broth. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Jaga and Masin. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.